Hey friends, welcome to the YouTube channel All About Electronics. So in this question, the Zener diode is used as a voltage regulator. So in this given voltage regulator circuit, this load current can vary between 100 milliampere to 500 milliampere. So here, we have been asked to find the maximum allowed value of the R such that this circuit will work as a voltage regulator. And here, we have been given that the Zener diode is the ideal diode. That means here, the Zener knee current is negligible and the Zener resistance of the Zener diode is almost zero. So here, let's say the current which is flowing through the Zener diode is equal to IZ while the current which is flowing through the load is equal to IL. Similarly, let's say the current which is supplied by this voltage source is equal to IS. So if we apply the KCL at this node, then we can write this IS is equal to IZ plus IL and here this IL is variable that means it can vary between 100 milliampere to 500 milliampere. Now here we have been given that this Zener diode is the ideal diode and the Zener knee current is almost zero. That means the minimum value of this Zener current is approximately equal to zero. So in such condition the supplied current IS is approximately equal to load current. So even with this condition, the minimum required value of the supplied current should be at least equal to load current. And here, since the maximum value of the load current is equal to 500 milliampere, that means the minimum required value of the supplied current is equal to 500 milliampere. That means in any case, the supplied current should be at least equal to 500 milliampere. So this minimum supplied current will decide the maximum allowable value of this R. So here, this current IS is equal to 12 volt minus 5 volt divided by R that is equal to 7 divided by R. So from this we can say that the maximum value of this R or R maximum is equal to 7 divided by IS minimum that is equal to 7 divided by 0.5 ampere or that is equal to 500 milliampere. That means the maximum allowed value of the R is equal to 14 ohm. That means as far as the value of R is less than 14 ohm, then this circuit will be able to supply the required value of the load current. So from this we can say that the maximum allowed value of the R is equal to 14 ohm. And hence for the given question, this C is the correct answer.